Thank you. Hi, this is Gabe reporting for Care Kids News. I'm here to find out about uh, a family who uh, rescued all their animals and got to safety from a huge flood. We headed to Blenheim in the South Island where there was a flood in July. The Plunkett family made a TikTok video saving animals which got thousands of views. This is how you went with the pants going for you, Lily. This tiny creek behind me flooded the whole entire Plunkett's farm. Everything you can see around here was completely underwater. It could have been a huge disaster. So Maddie and Lily, what did you guys do on the day of the flood? We had to save the horses and we had to save the turkey on the kayak. She had fallen asleep on a fence post and got stranded there. Hi, Dorothy! You had a little ride! What were you most worried about? Uh, probably the chickens. <laughs> Oh, the chickens. What's oh, it's like a chicken poster. What was it like when you went into the coop? What were your thoughts? It was really disgusting, and I was freaking out there was going to be an eel floating around inside because I felt something touching my legs, <laughs> and I didn't know what it was. And it was really, yeah, it probably was a stick, Medi. How cold and deep was it? Like, if I were to stand in it, how deep would it be to me? Well, I think when the water come up, it would have been up about here, so probably up about here I knew, another hour, and I think the chickens all would have drowned. When we got them out, I think the water was probably like about here, and they were all hiding in the nest boxes and sitting up on a perch, but yeah, we were lucky we got them in time. Right. What? We got a bucket full of chickens. Okay. Float these suckers out. Hey. So is this where all the water came from? Yes. Where was the water going? Like, what was happening down here? Well, the water was rushing through here and there were logs and trees and everything just zooming down there. And you can see the fence has been wiped out down there as well. And the water come right up here. And as we left on the ra last run, it was coming over the top down here. What was the scariest part for you? That night leaving after Civil Defence came and evacuated us, I think it was really scary not knowing what you were going to come back to in the morning, if the house had been flooded or, yeah. Was anything damaged in the flood? Yeah, a few of the jumps had smashed and fallen over and some of the fill had flown away. What about the house? Did the water reach it? No, it didn't reach the house, which was good. Nearly? <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> What did it feel like jumping on a trampoline in the flood water? It was pretty fun. It was kind of weird because there was water underneath and we kept hitting it, but it was quite cold. Thanks to the amazing Plunkett family for sharing their story about the flood. I hope that I don't have to go through the same. Well, at least everything's back to normal. This is Gabe signing off for Care Kids News.